Hey, welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm Slevin, and this is Muramasa the Demon Blade on the Nintendo Wii. Last one we left off, I was still running around the uh, Kai Sagami Musashi area. I don't know. You can see it on the map. And we are trying to look for the boss. But first, I am going to go and get this treasure and then go down on the map. The treasure that I found out that I could probably get to if I go in the water. Can I go in the water here? What the hell? There we go. There it is. Bronze mirror. Oh, that'll help. So let's see how quickly I can hustle over to this area. Eh. Until these guys start coming up. More hustling, more hustling. At least I'm getting souls and stuff while I beat these guys in the face. If I didn't, I'd be slightly disappointed. Uh oh. So, switching. And I. <laughs> that was a very nice switch. Back to my strongest sword. I got the beat down in the face. And we are going up. And actually, remember that one area that I couldn't find? It's probably, I could probably jump down in the water on that board too. So I'm gonna go check that out before you get it too far. I can. Oh, it doesn't look like I can go down. Hmm. Maybe I can. Yeah, it's not letting me go down, so. Keep moving. And now we are in the true Musashi area, where the boss probably lies. And I don't have a map, so we're just winging it as usual. Exploring some more. Amazaki, more alcohol. I love it. I love it. And actually, check and see here what I want to equip because I have a lot of stuff now. Okay, so. These five items look like they're on the shortcut right meow. I'm a Zaki. There we go. And we can actually change out the rice ball since I don't have any more. That might be helpful. There we go. Good to go. Keep him in the air. <laughs> okay, not that long, I guess. Hey, I leveled up though. Nice. And is there. Yes, there is. There we go. 
keep I keep evading by accident. Oh, I got hit? That is unacceptable. I never get really hit that much in this game lately. Playing on easy. Ah. No reward, because I got hit. Ah. It is what it is. Anything else? Oh, there's another one. Rice bag. Huh. That's interesting. Let's, um, let's use that. Oh, it's only ingredients. Hmm. Okay. Let's get drunk then. Woo! walking through a lot of areas just to get to the freaking boss on this one. Pretty interesting. More souls! Well, that makes me happy. And more enemies to kill makes me happy too. Get more practice on my skills. I was like, what the hell? And there is a treasure, like, right there. You can almost miss it if you just run right across, it looks like. I don't see any open doors, just a lot of people dancing in their, their windows. That's awesome. I think I almost got the uh, the backward slash thing almost mastered. Just trying to do it faster. That's what's hard about it. It helps to know how to do that quicker. I got most of the other moves, like the, the uh, uppercut slash and the downward uh, slice thing, pretty much figured out. Those are really, really easy. There's another one that you can do where you just kind of like rush forward in the air. That one's easy too. And I know how to evade really good. That's how I actually learned how to evade when I was playing in hard mode, in sure mode. Because the first boss on Kisuke, that guy's a dick. this I'm probably gonna go look up what I can do with my swords see what I can upgrade them to and see what's what's really good get some cool looking swords 
Because I don't know about you guys, but I love the games with the, uh, where the hero or the heroine, if that's how you pronounce it, is using like a sword weapon. It's almost, I mean, that's almost every JRPG known to man where the hero uses a sword, but I just like those types of games. I guess it's because of what I grew up on. It's always good times. I don't mind the newer modern games where they have like heroes using guns like Resonance or where the character's using like an axe or a spear, but it just doesn't have that that traditional like JRPG feeling where the guy's like whooping ass or the chick with a sword, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. I don't know. I still, though, have <laughs> have yet to get used to talking and, and pressing these buttons, so if I'm, like, super quiet when there's, like, 100 million enemies on the screen, and that's why. I want my treasure, and I want it now. There it is. Fire charm. Another one, okay. I'll take that. He's trying to hide from me. Just get up here and fight. Can't believe that guy's chillaxing in the water like that. And I leveled up again. Before you know it, I'll be able to go back and do that enemy lair real quick and see what kind of items they have in there for me. And here is our save point. So I'm assuming the boss is coming up here real, real soon. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, guys. Stay tuned for my next gameplay of Muramasa the Demon Blade on the Nintendo Wii. Until then, as always, take care.